In this video, I'll be answering questions submitted by PaintShop Pro users on a variety of topics. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this QA session and submit your own questions to be answered in future videos. Our first question is, can I run scripts in PaintShop Pro, and if so, how? Yes, we have a lot of scripts, and they're a snap to run. Many scripts are already installed by default. I'm in the Edit tab with this photo waiting for some effects. To open the Script Toolbar, I'll choose View, Toolbars, Script. All of my installed scripts are here in this rather long list. All I need to do is choose the script I want, in this case, Painted Carved Wood, and click the Run button. To find more scripts, I'll go to the Welcome screen, click Get More, and filter the list to show only scripts. What you'll find here are lots of single effect scripts and script bundles based on themes such as Nightmare, Glitch, Antique Painting, etc. I can also filter to only show photo effect scripts or scripts for artistic effects or atmospheric effects. I'll scroll down to find this free script called Purple Color Tint Script. I'll open it, download, and go through the easy installation process. Now when I go back and open my library, here's my new script ready to use. Next we have, how do I install and use the free version of Graphics Studio that comes with PaintShop Pro 2020 Ultimate? The Corel edition of Graphics Studio is included in your installation of PaintShop Pro 2020 Ultimate. To see if it's already up and running, go to Effects, Plugins, Auto Effects Software, Graphics Studio Corel Edition. If you don't see this in your menu, you can install and activate Graphics Studio manually. In Windows, go to C, Program Files x86, Corel, Corel PaintShop Pro 2020 Setup Files, and open the Auto Run application. On the window that opens, click to install Graphics Studio. You can run Graphics Studio from its desktop icon or from the Start menu. You'll use your email address for the activation. Then in the email you'll receive, you'll get an activation code and an Activate Software link. Once that's all done, the plugin should be available in the Effects Plugins menu. When I open PaintShop Pro, white spaces on the screen appear as yellow. How do I fix this? The first thing to check is whether PaintShop Pro is identifying white correctly. Use the dropper tool to sample a yellow pixel you think should be white. If the RGB values are all 255, which is white, then PaintShop Pro is working fine, but you have a display issue. This is often caused by a loose connection between the monitor and computer, so check that first. If your monitor connection is fine, the second check is to make sure your video drivers are up to date. I have a hard time getting extra content, such as scripts or brushes, to appear in the right place when I upgrade to a new version of PaintShop Pro. All of your extra content, such as scripts, picture tubes, picture frames, and brushes, should work not only in the version that was active when you purchased the content, but in later versions as well. The easiest way to import all of your old content into your current version is to choose File, Import, Content from Previous Versions. This brings in everything from the past three releases as long as all previous content was installed into the default folders. If you need to migrate content from versions that go back farther than three releases, then you can find that content and copy your files over manually. The destination folders can be found in Documents, Corel PaintShop Pro, Current Version Number, Content Type. If you have content you've placed in folders other than the defaults, you can direct PaintShop Pro to look in those folders. Choose File, Preferences, File Locations, find the content type you want, and add that folder. For some tools, my cursor shape is a crosshair symbol. How do I change this back to normal? If your cursor shape has changed to a crosshair symbol, it means that precise cursors have been enabled. Some users prefer this setting when they're working in very fine detail. This is how precise cursors look. I have a crosshair cursor when using the selection tool, background eraser, paintbrush, etc. To turn this off, I'll go to File, Preferences, General Program Preferences, Display and Caching, 
and uncheck Use Precise Cursors. After clicking OK, my cursors are back to normal. How can I create shapes, such as an ellipse, in specific units? PaintShop Pro works in pixels. These are the values that appear at the lower right corner. But sometimes you may need to create a rectangle in inches or a circle in centimeters. First, I'll choose View Rulers to see measurements, which by default are listed in pixels. To set different units, I'll choose File, Preferences, General Program Preferences, Units. I'll switch from Pixels to Centimeters and click OK. I can use the View menu to display the grid as well, and also open Grid, Guide, and Snap properties. For current image settings, units are again centimeters, and I have 0.1 for horizontal and vertical grid. This means 10 grid spaces per centimeter, or in other words, each grid square is 1 millimeter by 1 millimeter. I can turn on Snap to Grid in the View menu as well. So now, if I want an ellipse that's 4.1 centimeters wide and 2.5 centimeters high, I can create it in the top left corner, then use the Pick tool to move it into place. Our final question for this session is, how do I clip layers? Clipping is done with a mask. There are lots of mask options in PaintShop Pro, but I'll show just two for this section. This image has a flower layer above a gradient layer with some vector text. I want to clip the flowers using this heart shape. Black is what will become blocked, and the white parts will be kept. With the flower layer active, I'll click the mask icon. With the Hide All and Show All options, I can use black or white paint to manually hide or show what I want. But for this case, I'll choose From Image. I'll choose the heart image and click OK. The background is now hidden, and the flowers are clipped to the heart shape. With the mask group now active, I can use the Pick tool to move the heart into place and resize it. In this example, I have a chilly looking penguin above a beach background. With the Smart Selection brush, set to Add Mode, I'll select the bird, trying to be as exact as I can. The mask to apply this time is Show Selection. Now this lucky penguin gets to leave the wintry weather behind and enjoy the beach. This brings us to the end of our PaintShop Pro Q&A session. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, please follow the link in the description below, which will take you to this tutorial page in Corel's Discovery Center. Here you'll also find a written version of this tutorial, and you can submit your own questions to be answered in future videos.